Call of Duty added a secret new LMG to Modern Warfare 3, and I know that I completely missed it because I was so focused on the new Moore Sniper and the FJX Horus SMG and even the Shadow Daggers that I completely forgot that they added this brand new aftermarket part for the weeklies. It is called the Jack Shadow Titan Kit for the Bruin MK9 LMG, and this thing is honestly pretty weird, and I'll show you guys why. If you don't have the aftermarket part on, this is what it looks like, but when you put it on, it changes it pretty drastically, especially when you pull up the advanced stats. Look at all the different changes happening to this thing. Some of the biggest penalties we see are increases to target flinch, reduced damage range, and also an increased open bolt delay. But we get a ton of recoil accuracy, mobility, and handling benefits. And this thing, once you put this attachment on, doesn't even feel like a machine gun. Especially with this build that I made right here. If you guys want to pause and copy it, you can. As you can see at the bottom left, this is all meant to just make this gun as fast as possible. If you look at me moving around here in the firing range, you would not think for a seconds that this is a light machine gun but it is we're gonna go crazy with this thing today this is gonna be a little cheese but i want to try it out in hardcore on the small map mosh pit and emergency 24 7 because that's also a small map and the main reason i want to test it out there first is because this gun is built for speed we can get our ads down fast we can sprint to fire quickly i mean this is just ridiculous for an lmg it's crazy it might be okay in core but i think hardcore is where it's really going to do better because look how much we can move first game we got das house hardcore hardpoint this is going to be something i think we're joining late okay that's a great sign let's see if we can outspeed some of these people i mean <laughs> oh my god this thing's ridiculous oh they had a cluster mine okay i joined late yeah this thing's speed is ridiculous man the whole point of this class is to just go crazy we got the quick fix vest too he's laying down camping we can beat him because you see in hardcore the guns that win more often than not are the ones that are fast we don't have to build for accuracy we don't have to build for damage or range or anything we just need to be faster than everyone but okay, you still have to hit your shots though. But what we lose in accuracy, we definitely make up for in speed. And I mean, if you want to be a demon, fly around the map with an LMG and just spray people. I think you should definitely give this thing a try. I hit some insane clips recently, but I want to save those for a different video. But I've been going horde. Ooh. No shot, they did not spawn there, wow. I'm killing this first match so much, this is gonna ruin my skill base. Now what's interesting too is I put lightweight boots on. I'm not running coverts, I don't care if they can hear me. What? Did he say bean toast? What you talk about, fool? <laughs> I know he's back there. I know you are. Dude, I mean, the fact that we can get out of the sprint to fire so fast. I just got quick scope LMG challenges done for the weekly. I didn't even do that before. I do apologize for not having any footage of me unlocking this. I was just doing it casually yesterday. Didn't really plan on making a video on this thing until I saw how crazy it was. This is my first game online using it. I was kind of messing around with the builds a little bit earlier, but this is my first time using it online. And my God, dude, it's just so fast. The flow and the spawns on this are kind of weird, but if we get a really good map and game mode combo, like, we could pop off. We could get hit something huge. All right, quad spray coming in. Here we go, quad spray! Ooh! Up. Uh, we almost had it! We ran out of ammo, though. See, you can't put a magazine attachment on this thing, though, which is the one big drawback. You can't spray for too long. Oh, the hit fire... See, I just know that they're going to be there. I've played this map so much. I can just go for those crazy pre-fires into the spawn. No! No, oh, we could have had something, dude. Camping. Camping. Sort. Oh, no, he's moving. Hey. <laughs> How's it going? You having a good camp session? Check out my fancy gun. All right, I'm going to let him do his thing. I should have team killed him out of principle, but I'm feeling extra noise today. I'm not going to do it. We got this insane new LMG, and I'm just vibing with it. Wow, camp in the middle. Wow. Okay, now that's gross. Oh. Wait, double headshot? How? What? Oh, quad head, quad head, quad head. Nah, it's gonna be off screen. Oh, wow, the reload, dude. We had an empty reload. That was painful. Oh, we won. They're beefing in chat. I don't know why, but we won that TDM. We were flying around the map and we were the best on the team. Just no insane clips quite yet. Not a bad game though. I've earned 25 tokens so far. I haven't spent a single one. Wait, we unlocked some kind of special 20 round mag. I don't know what gun that's for, but there are a bunch of new ones in the game. We have the reinforced boots, the high gain antenna, the gunslinger vest, and the modular assault rig. I haven't unlocked any of those yet, but I did unlock the quick fix vest and this is insane. I've been using it on this class. I really need to rebuild my Moors class because I'm using the ninja vest on that, but I think it would be better with quick fix. If you stim after getting shot with the moors your follow-up shot potential is like terrible all right we got some hardcore tdm on rust hopefully this is good i just saw him spawn this poor man oh you're not getting up there you're not going to top three 
Oh, get the health back instantly, dude. I love it. Wow. Still getting killed by corner campers, but I'm not even mad, dude. The way that Sledgehammer has handled this season, like, I feel like it's just so hard to actually get mad at the game. They also apparently have a suggestion where you can choose to not disband from a lobby. I have not had that pop up yet. If you guys have, though, definitely let me know because I haven't seen it. But, I mean, that's an amazing feature that should just be in the game. And I can't remember if I mentioned this, but we also just have double XP, which they don't normally do for the beginning of seasons. But, honestly, it's genius. I think the part that I didn't mention before is the fact that if you play in a party, you can get exponential more XP as well, depending on the size of your party. I think it's if you have like a party of four or more people, you'll get like 30% more XP for everything. Like your player weapons and battle pass. That's crazy, dude. Also. Ah! No! Oh! Okay, the shots went crazy there. Ah. Can just hip fire it. This thing's hip fire is pretty good too. Which is pretty important in hardcore. You gotta get those shots off before everyone else. I want an advance. I want to get an advance for you guys. No. Teammate. I'm scared. We're going to lose it here. I don't want to lose the streak. Ah! Oh, we had such a bad spawn there. I was killing it, though. The whole team was trapped back there, and they knew it, though. I know for a fact that this class has crazy potential, though. They all just want to spawn trap back over here. Oh, it's crazy. They know. Oh, I'm faster, though. Lost that one, but we're still the best in here. Like, this thing is going to dominate in hardcore. It's insanely fast. It gives you the integrated suppressor, and it's still, I believe, hitting those one-shot kills. Yeah, we had a 2KD. Everyone else on the team, I, I don't know, but it's just kind of crazy because most people don't look at the LMGs and be like, yeah, I want to use that. That looks like fun. But this one is definitely different. And I really think it's because this thing doesn't feel like an LMG. It's so much faster, and it makes it more competitive. Okay, I'm tired of playing hardcore TDM. Let's go use this somewhere else. I think Modern Warfare 3 is on a free trial, and some of these game modes might be a little bit easier to play they might not have as much skill based i'm gonna try horde point we're taking it to core now so let's see if it's any good in like regular game modes yeah and i wanted to show you guys this as well if you look at the gunsmith you cannot change the barrel muzzle ammo or magazine attachments so really it's not too difficult to pick your attachments because you only have these five different options aside from the jack shadow titan kit itself you have to run that obviously all right we got skid grow horde point i promise these are real names ah modern warfare oh we won <laughs> getting jump scared already what's crazy is i feel like i'm moving faster with the lmg compared to my knife like you would think i'm using an smg right now this thing's ridiculous <laughs> that guy rage quit the game they're all rage quitting why it's just an lmg he's hacking you can't do this with an lmg you have to be cheating you know what's sad because that's like most people playing games nowadays i mean bro we could just kill zombies i'll get the advanced uav from the zombs it's okay oh my god actual human you get a max ammo max ammo <laughs> Come on, get the advance. We need the advance. Oh my god. Please. I want it. Actual person out there. Oh! Ah! It launched me out. Get the nuke. I can't believe that would not have earned me it. That had to be one of the weirdest sequence of events I've seen on a COD multiplayer in a minute. Like, bruh, I was so close to the advance, but then a mimic launches me out of the window to my imminent death. What a stupid way to lose an advance UAV. All right, they have no idea I'm here. Dude, even when we're just proning, like, why do I move so fast? That's re Oh, my God! It's either the enemies or all the zombies. Great. Just run, bro. Just run. Oh, my God! I love this game mode. It's just pure chaos. And we got EMP'd. Oh, wait. Oh, no, we EMP'd them. Ooh. What? Here he is. We got a guy cheating. Why? Why are you this way? His name is I hate this game and he cheats on it. All right, well, you actually deserve a report for that. Extremely late. I mean, how far can you go with this glitch? This is ridiculous. He's probably gonna nuke us if we don't end this. I just have to keep moving because this guy might not be able to hit me. We have to stay on the objective, stay moving because this guy has terrible aim. Can we beat a cheater? That's the question. Ah, not the dog! Now we gotta, like, crank this up if we're gonna win. He can't go to this objective. He can't go to P2. So, I mean, like, if we get this, we could just win. Unless they get a nuke. If he cheats for the nuke, it's all over. We just need to hold this. Oh, now the mimics are here. You gotta be kidding me. Wait, if we kill zombies, do we just win? I forgot. I'm gonna die here to the mimic. There's no way. Oh, my God. Bro? Oh, we actually won. Imagine doing an out-of-the-map glitch and still losing. Could not be me. I mean, we had the most kills on the team, lots of objective play. Didn't have to be a <laughs> going outside of the map, so... I think what really takes the cake is the fact that he named himself I Hate This Game. 
but he's playing it still and he's cheating on it. But what I do know is that we were slapping people in hardcore, we beat a cheater in horde point, and we also just had a really intense game of war and we won. So yeah, this new LMG is pretty good and I would definitely recommend unlocking it if you haven't already. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see some more stuff like this. I'll see you guys later. Outcome.